so I've been following this whole Will Smith situation and the slapping of Chris Rock. It's hard not to because it's everywhere. It's all over the place. It's literally been shoved down our throats. So it's hard to ignore it. And it turns out I have things to say about that. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I've been reading comments and opinions about this whole Will Smith situation and listening to videos and boy oh boy have you got opinions about the situation. And it is one comment in particular that caught my attention. Somebody was talking about how Will Smith has ruined his public image, his reputation and tainted his whole career, he's ruined his character. And somebody was asking what kind of things is he trying to teach our children? What kind of values? Blah, blah, blah. And when I read that comment, it got me thinking about this whole business of building a public image, building an image, a reputation for ourselves and the things that we can do to protect that image, the things that we can do to make sure that our values remain intact no matter what situation we find ourselves in. And yes, I'm going to give my opinion on the whole Will Smith situation in connection with this topic. And so the saying goes, it takes years to build a reputation. And I'm talking about a public reputation. It takes years to build that image, but just a moment to ruin it. Now, before I give you my opinion about what I think about this whole reputation character thing, I want us to look at the process that it takes for a person to build their image, the process it takes to build your character. What are the things that are involved in that process when one is building that persona, that image that we all see in people like Will Smith, that we all see in people like Denzel Washington, you know, those public figures that we like to idolize, that we like to talk about so much. What contributes towards that process? That's the things that I want to look at to begin with. For me, when it comes to building someone's character or reputation or image, there are things that are involved during that process. And it's not an overnight thing, it's a process. So one of the things that come into play during that process is one's education. How are you educated? What are the things that have been taught to you? Your level of education. And we look at things like socialization, how you've been socialized, your family. What did your parents instill in you? Your relationships? your community, so it's how you are socialized, the places that you go, the places that you frequent, the things that you associate yourself with, the things that you wanna do, how you spend your time. Because how you spend your time, in other words, tells us what you value, tells us what's important in your life. So that will inform as well how people perceive you. So really the things that you gravitate towards, and in a way, those are your values because those are the things that you spend your time doing. So it means you value those things. You regard those things to have a place in your life, to be important in your life. And in today's world, we also tend to look at the things that you post on social media. What is your social media like? So people look at those things and they look at your mannerisms, how you talk, how you walk, how you carry yourself and they form an image about you. And that becomes your reputation. That becomes your public reputation. And in other words, we assume those are the values that you hold in your life and also our faith, our beliefs. That also informs our values. It shapes our character and ultimately builds that public image, our reputation, because when people see us praying or referencing God or a greater being, that's what they are seeing and they form an opinion around that. Those are the things that will determine then how people weigh you, where they place you. 
in their minds, on their scale. And when I look at Will Smith and the things that we know about his family or him as a man, I don't know the ins and outs about his family, what the situation is like with his wife or his kids, but I'm basing this on what we all know about Will Smith, the things that we've seen and heard, the things that are already out there. My opinion is, and I understand people are saying Will Smith has ruined his career, he's ruined his reputation, and so forth. And yes, I've got no reason not to believe that he cares about his career. I've got no reason not to think that. He absolutely cares because when he's acting, he puts everything into it. That's why he's a great actor. And just to get this out of the way, I'm a huge fan of Will Smith. The slap did not take that away from the way I feel about him as an actor, as a human being. I still like him. And I'm not saying what he did was wrong. And I'm not saying what he did was right. I'm just here to try and marry what I think and what I've observed about Will Smith to what is happening now in terms of his character, his public image, the image that he has built for himself, the values that he has portrayed um, to us as his fans, as people who are watching from afar. Personally, I feel that. And this is what I've observed anyway from what we know has been put out there in the public. This is what I've observed. I've observed and formulated an opinion regarding Will Smith, an opinion which is that that man cares about his family. And I'm sure most of us can see that. He's a man who wants things to work. Between himself and his wife, he wants to be a good dad. He wants to be a good husband. He wants to be everything he can be for his family. And to me, looking at him, those are his values. He values that the most, more than his reputation, I would say, because, I mean, we had the entanglement situation. It came to pass. We all had opinions about that. We were talking whatever we said about it. But Will Smith remained with his family. He remained where he was. And some people were even going as far as saying he should divorce his wife. She doesn't deserve him. But to Will Smith, keeping his family together is everything. So to me, that's the image that he is portrayed. He values his family. He values the people around him, the people in his life, his relationship, his immediate relationship. The unfortunate thing, and I don't know how true this is because there's a lot of fake news out there. The unfortunate thing for me is that his wife is now being portrayed as having said that she regrets what her husband did. Personally, I feel that that is something she could have said to him in private, not necessarily in public. I say that because we have seen so many scandals out there. Presidents who have had affairs, who have done things, public figures who have been involved in so many scandals, unspeakable things, whose partners chose to stand by them, in public at least. So I feel that Will Smith's wife could have done that. Jada could have done that for Will Smith. So the question then becomes, how do you protect your public image? How do you protect your values? How do you keep them intact? The answer to that is simple. You must choose your associations carefully. Choose your friends carefully. Choose your partners carefully. Let's face it, we all have moments of weakness. Moments where 
emotions overcome us and we're not thinking rationally perhaps. So it is during those moments that we need a strong support system. When our emotions are running high, we've got a small window of opportunity to stop ourselves. And when we're not able to stop ourselves, that's where our association step in. That's where our friends must step in and say, stop, don't do that or wait. So that's why I say you must choose your associations carefully. Because that small window matters. This is where you need somebody to be there for you. You need somebody to be your pillar of strength. You need somebody else to be a voice of reason. I feel his wife could have stepped in. She could have held his hand and said, stop. You can hand it later or not now, baby, or something just to stop him. This is just my opinion anyway.